All right, so just so you guys know, there is a Man Cave Tool Store. The link is in the description below. You can get a hat, shirt, hoodie, long sleeve shirts, mugs, stickers, and a whole assortment of stuff. So please like this video and subscribe to the channel. So before we start this video, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to uh, VCG Construction, Vince, for live streaming the demonstration that uh, Ryobi did for the new compact uh, HP line. Uh, I put the link in the description below of his stream. Please give it a watch. It is I'm so excited about the new uh, Ryobi tool that's coming out. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the videos. Alrighty, so... What we are going to do today is we are going to explore the new Ryobi HP line that is on the Ryobi website. Now, these tools look awesome. Like I said in a previous video, that these have the, the new tools have a 3D design to them. They're no longer just a, a flat design with a sticker. And now, what it looks like, it looks like the actual logo for Ryobi and the, the name of the line is embedded into the molding, which is, which is actually pretty cool. And so we're just going to explore the couple of tools that are coming out in August. I'm hoping to get a, a release date for them today. And so please uh, stop by later on in the next couple of days because I will put the release, release date if I, fi if I am told it in the description. So please check back to see what the release date is because I am going to, I am going to try my best to get that date. And so, so yeah, uh, so I just wanted to let you guys know that Ryobi does make a hand, a single-handed recip saw already, or pruning saw, or hacksaw, if you will. I already did a unboxing inverse video with this. I'll put that video right here, right now, and you go check that out. And so, yes, Ryobi does make a single-handed uh, hacksaw. So, but the, this is from a different country. I believe this is from Norway, and so America now has a hacksaw. So it's actually pretty cool. So we're going to explore these tools and we, we are going to see what it is. Now, I just want to let you guys know that back when H, back when the HP system first came out, what it used to be, it used to be the HP system was in the battery. All right. And then it just coordinated with the motherboard that is on the tool. All right. So what they did now is they took the HP system in the battery and put it in the tool. Now, all your other batteries should act like HP batteries because the HP is now in the tool and the battery is just fueling the tool. From my understanding, that's what it is. And the first tool we're going to explore is we're going to explore the Ryobi cutoff tool, the compact cutoff tool. All right, this tool is awesome. I, li I like the way it looks. Uh, it is a three inch blade and it is also, it has a forward and reverse feature. Now, I hope that they're smart and they add like a dust collector or dust director to this tool. Because as you can see, the Milwaukee M12 has a dust attachment to where it has a window and you can see where you're cutting. So I'm hoping that we, they just don't show us. I'm hoping that Ryobi does the same thing. Of course, you can cut metal, wood, plastic, drywall, and it's, it's, actually a, it's actually a little handy tool that will come uh, use in many ways. It looks like this guy is cutting laminate with it for, from what I see. Of course, you can uh, install shelving units with this as well. In case if your, uh, your wire shelf is a little too long, this will easily cut it. And like, as you see there, drywall, it also, it, 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 if you need to cut uh, for an electrical box, there you go. Uh, sorry, the wheel size is three inches, arbor size is three eighths, and the arbor adapters is seven sixteenths and three eighths. RPMs is 19, 000, zero to nineteen thousand five hundred, and of course Ryobi's three year warranty. For the three eighths inch impact wrench, I like the way this is designed, and as you can see, the bottom is they completely changed the bot the base of the tool. They completely changed the base of the tool. You, you no longer have the magnetic tray. You have a nice bigger LED light, and it, it, you also with this tool you have a three. Uh, you have a speed selection. All right, so the the anvil is three eighths. Uh, torque is up to 160 foot foot pounds of torque. There are four speed settings. There are on speed one it goes to zero to 850 RPMs. On speed two zero to 2000. Speed three zero to 2900. And the fourth setting is auto zero to 2900. And I'm gonna assume 
it, that that's the HP part of the tool to where if it feels like it needs more power to, to uh, bust that nut, it will. As soon as it busts the nut, it'll go back to a slower RPM to where you don't need it to be like as fast as possible for the last few inches of, of whatever it is you're you're taking out. And impacts per minute is 3,800. All right, so the uh, which that, that's that's actually pretty good for a compact tool. That's actually pretty good. All right, so like I said, the modes is high, medium, low, and auto. And Ryobi has a three-year warranty. All right, so the one thing that I do not like about this tool is the anvil does not go past the base. That is the issue. That is the issue that Ryobi has with these types of batteries. All right, if they go compact, the same thing with rigid. If they go compact and your and your truck or anvil doesn't go past here, you're limited to what you can do. All right, so as you can see with this impact driver, the 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 collet goes beyond the base. All right, so if this collet was a little bit further, you have no choice but to use an extension of some sort or or a deep socket uh or a deep socket. All right, because if you work in a flat area, and you end up being flush, and the base is hitting the surface before this is, you are you you cannot uh, you cannot use it to work. So if you extend this, you lose a little bit of torque. So the chuck or collet or anvil has to ex extend beyond the base where the battery is, or you're going to have issues. Because as you can see, that's straight. This has a clearance. So this is a so this is a good design when it comes to working on a flat surface where it's where the base and the the top of the tool meet the same surface we're going to talk about the compact the hp compact brushless right angle drill all right now when it comes to this type of tool i'm really i really don't uh, i really don't have a need for this tool it has its purpose but i'm really not a fan of the of this type of tool but it the new design compared to the old design and it does look like it has a paddle trigger. Now, I might be mistaken. This might be a metal chuck. I do not know. It could be plastic, but I think I actually it looks like it's a metal chuck. But there's only one way to find out is when we get these tools. So I, I'm, I'm excited about that. All right, new base. There is an LED light underneath the chuck. And uh, that looks like it's a paddle trigger. Yeah, I think that's a paddle trigger. And so, yeah, it, it, overall, it looks like a good tool. And, uh, like, this is uh, this type of tool is a, special, a specialty tool where you, the, where you just can't use a regular drill because you need that extra space for those couple of things, like in a drawer or uh, in, a cubby, uh, in a cubby. So, or in that, in that situation... So for the specs, the chuck is 3 eighths. There's two speed settings. The first speed is 0 to 450 RPMs on speed 2. It is 0 to 1700 RPMs and up to 350 inch-pounds of torque. And of course, Ryobi's three-year warranty. And so, yeah. So like, like overall, uh, this is going to be a much upgraded brushless uh, right-angled drill. Now, this is the Ryobi's first brushless one. So it's good to have that in your arsenal if you actually need it next we're going to be talking about the quarter uh quarter inch hex impact driver now impact drivers is the uh, people's first or second most favorite tool drills and impact drivers is your most common stuff so this is actually going to be good to have in your arsenal it's compact and when it comes to this i don't think you'll be having an issue when it comes to the the collet being beyond the base so the Ryobi does have a new uh, a new bag. I like that bag. It looks a lot better than it was. Now, when it comes to their grip, it might be the Photoshop, but I think they're I think Ryobi is going towards uh, green and black instead of green and gray. So I, it might be the Photoshop, but I think it's going to be uh, green and black. I like the design. You got an LED light on the bottom. You have a of course forward and reverse. I like that new base. Yeah, they did take the magnet tray out. Now, when it comes to uh, the the anvil housing, I do not know if that is a sleeve or if that is just uh, a metal housing. But I think it's a metal housing because the, the, their Photoshop is a little 
uh, little, you can't see the details because it just looks so good. You can't, uh, so I think that's just a, a, a metal, uh, the metal housing. Now the collet, I do not know if that's pushed in or if you need to adjust it. I'm going to assume that you have to push it in. And of course, these are the 1.5 amp hour batteries. You know, they're compact. And so there are the new 1.5 amp hour batteries has a fuel gauge on it and they're big. And th that tool looks good. I, I, I love the design of that tool. I love that design. Like, like I said, they're like they're their detail of their tool pops now. It's no longer a flat surface. The labeling in, uh, is embedded into the, the molding, which is awesome. So let's look, take a look at the specs really quick. All right, so quarter inch hex collet. Uh, torque is up to 1,700 inch pounds of torque. Impacts per minute is 3,800. And the RPM is zero to 2,900. Now, yes, there. this is this is a variable trigger only. There is no speed selection, which that makes me think that they might have a speed selection impact driver in the future because the Ryobi brushless uh, impact drivers, they have two versions. They have the P239, which is variable trigger only, and they have the P238, which is a speed selection. Now, this one is more powerful than this one, but based on this, I think that they're, they are going to have another impact driver with a speed selection. All right, so I'm excited about this, the brushless drill driver. This drill driver looks so seriously cool, and I can't, I can't wait to get this one. And so, of course, the OnePlus HP Compact Brushless Drill Kit, more compact, lighter weight, uh, and this, this is a kit, so it comes with the two 1.5 amp hour batteries. And once again, I think this truck is metal. Uh, it might be the Photoshop, but it, this might be a fully metal truck. So I'm excited about that. And it's the, the design of these is, are, are seriously so awesome. The engineers did such a great job. I can't wait to test these tools out. And we are going to do a versus videos between the Ryobi tools that are now compared to these. And as, as you can see, that chuck goes beyond the base. So you will not have any issues with the size of the battery based on the length of the chuck. So that's a good thing. You want the chuck to go beyond the base. So you could use it in any situation. All right, for the specs, the truck is a half inch. The clutch is 24, uh, is a 24 point clutch. RPMs, there are two speed settings. RPMs are for speed one, zero to 450. And on speed two, it is zero to 1700. And it is up to 400 inch pounds of torque. And of course, Ray was a three year warranty. And the design of, and this is the it, uh, I think that they are the, like the old school chargers. The big one, the big ones are gone. Those are done. They're done with those. And so the chargers is the smaller chargers, and these chargers are fast chargers. So it's good. I, I like that bag. Like like this, the the design of this tool is a, is is awesome. The last but not least that they have display is a Ryobi lightweight one-handed recip saw or hacksaw, if you will. All right, like I said, Ryobi already does make a single-handed saw, and this is available in a different country, and this is brushed, so now America has a brushless HP version of this. A pivoting shoe, which is good. Uh, it has an articulating shoe, which is what you want because you could easily guide your cuts. LED light on the front, an easy, adjustable truck to take your blade out. Okay, the specs, it is a stroke length of 5 eighths. Strokes per minute is zero. Uh, strokes per minute is zero to three thousand, and uh, the weight is three point uh, eight pounds and the three uh, three year the and the Ryobi three year warranty, which is awesome, which is awesome. So these tools are coming out. These tools are coming out in August, and like I said, I am trying my best to get the release date. So I will be putting that in the description below. So please, in the next couple of days, come back here, look at the description, and I, I will be uh, putting that in there as soon as I get the information. And like I said, I am trying to get these tools early so I can test the crap out of these and see how these do and do versus videos against what's out here, uh, what's right now. And so uh, I can't wait for the future tools because I'm going to assume that they're going to make a uh, HP hammer drill, a speed selecting impact driver. And of course, the, uh, a circular saw, a full-sized recip saw. So I'm very excited about this line coming out. It's a compact series. And hopefully this does replace everything that they already have. That's pretty much it 
So if you found this video helpful and, gets you, and it got you excited about the new tool line, please like this video and please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. Please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.